units of energy every physical quantity as a unit we know that energy that means work done work stored capacity to do the work so there should this is a derived quantity because it is derived by a relation force multiplied by displacement so here it must have a derived unit also so what is that unit the unit of energy is joule joule how do we calculate energy energy is capacity to do the work and storage of energy means storage of work and what is the formulation of work that is force multiplied by displacement force as unit newton okay into meter so we can say newton meter this is unit of work but we have to use it at so many places it is such a popular physical quantity that we want to give it a name a separate name the separate name was given to honor the scientist who has done maximum work on it and that scientist was joule so we gave it the name joule so this newton meter is derived with a new name joule and it has got a symbol capital j how much is 1 joule work 1 joule work is this is definition of 1 joule if i have got 1 kg mass on my hand 1 kg and i displace it by 0.1 meter how much work is done what is the force i am applying force mg this i have taken at 1 kg and g let us suppose the approximate value is 10 so how much is the force 10 newton okay i have taken it up by 0.1 meter that is 10 cm this much 1 kg this much <coughs> that is displacement s 10 cm 0.1 meter and the work done that is force multiplied by displacement so this is 10 into 0.1 is equal to 1 this is 1 joule how much is 1 joule take 1 kg in your hand raise it by 10 cm the work you have done is 1 joule this is an idea what 1 joule means this 1 joule is our si system unit in si system okay for very small things like in nuclear physics when we are moving electron the energy calculations are very very small there we are using another unit that is when one electron moves under a potential difference of 1 volt the work done is having a different unit we call it electron volt there is change in energy if we want to find out the relation between the two then according to definition it is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 minus 19 joule is equal to 1 electron volt please remember this this is what we use in nuclear physics now there is another practical unit we use at our house the electricity board is giving us electricity and electricity is a form of energy and they meter meter the energy given but their unit is very simple if i use a bulb of 1000 watt that is 1 kilowatt 
for two hours. So they will say you have consumed one kilowatt into two hours. That is two kilowatt energy. If I have the load in my house, air conditioner, refrigerator, this, that, as five kilowatt, and I run it for three hours, five kilowatt, three hours, multiply the two. Five into three, 15 kilowatt hour. That is the unit they use. So that is a practical unit for electricity consumption. So I will call it electrical unit. Electrical unit of energy that is kilo watt hour. We have to multiply the power multiplied by time. We will come to that power chapter in the next lecture, but this is how it is done. Power in kilowatt multiplied by time in hour. This gives the kilowatt hour. And one kilowatt hour, one kilowatt hour kWh is equal to one watt is one joule in one second. So one kilowatt is thousand watt into hour. Watt is equal to one joule in one second. So this we can write as 1000 joule into 3600 seconds. Yes. So this is equal to watt is joule per second and hour is 3600 second. So this is cancelled. What we get is so many joule. How much joule it is? 3.6 into 10 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 to the power 6 joule. So please remember 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule. That is the practical unit or electrical unit. So these two units are very popular. One in nuclear physics, one in our household work where we get the electricity. Otherwise in SI system, unit of energy, unit of work is to be taken as 1 joule. There is another very popular unit but nowadays we use it less. But still at medical terms, in other terms we use it a lot and that unit is used in heat. Heat. That is 1 calorie. When we take 1 gram of water, heat it by 1 degree Celsius, we have to give certain energy. Then its temperature will rise by 1 degree. How much is the water? 1 gram. How much temperature to be raised? 1 degree. How it is to be raised? We have to give certain heat energy. That energy is fixed to be 1 calorie. 1 calorie. 1 gram water heated by 1 degree Celsius. Energy required 1 calorie. Yes. This was used in the topic of heat. So this was used in the topic of heat. This was used in the topic of nuclear physics. This was used in the topic of electricity. And this joule is used in the topic of work power energy, mechanical energy. So how much is one calorie converted to joules? Please remember this is 4.18 joule. This is equal to one calorie. So, we have learnt there are four types of energy units in different chapters of physics. Mechanical, one joule, work is done. Heat, one calorie. Nuclear physics, one electron volt. Electricity, one kilowatt hour. 
these are the uh, few units of energy we use in different topics of physics now in the next topic we will see how unit is uh, how mechanical energy there are conversions of energy within potential energy and kinetic energy during one motion and what is meaning of conservation of energy thank you